top of the food chain, rock with the rat tail, king sanitation, jump into the trap now, murderous assassins, harassment of blackmail, how you think I made it in the game, it's a rap. Yo guys, what is going on? Timpus here. So in today's video, I'll be doing a tutorial on Photoshop. Now, I've not done one in quite a while now, just because a lot of you guys have been asking for some different types of videos, and I know a lot of you guys have been enjoying it. You've been leaving some sick support. So guys, in today's video, I'll be doing a FIFA 17 uh, YouTube banner tutorial. So I hope you guys do enjoy this video, and if you do, make sure to smash the like button. Can we hit 200 likes on this video? Let's try and get there guys make sure you share the video and also guys comment down below what you want to see in my next video and with that all being said let's get into it right guys so we're here in Photoshop and you want to get your own banner template up um, I know most of you guys have already got this but basically it's just some black bars you can get them off Google and stuff like that so like I said FIFA 17 banner today um, it's gonna be like the ones that all the youtubers have um, you guys will probably know which one I'm talking about so basically the first thing you want to do is create a background so we're just gonna make a new layer and then we can choose whatever color you want so I'm gonna go with like a purple color so maybe something like that and then alt backspace to fill in it in and then just bring it below so something like this and now we're gonna get some FIFA 17 background it's totally up to you guys there's actually different ways you can you can make the background you can either get some FIFA 17 uh, images and just put it there or you can like get thumbnails that you've done in the past and that's really cool you can make like small thumbnails and just put them everywhere it's pretty cool but I'm just gonna get some FIFA 17 gameplay just a picture so like so um, and, uh, and you want to make sure it's pretty good quality, nothing too small. So maybe this looks all right. So you might not uh, want more than one. So this is probably just going to be the first one I'm going to use. Might just use two to be honest. Something like this. So just quickly get in the two. I'll use this one as well. In fact, no, that's a bit too small. Um, let's keep looking. Could use this one right here, so I'll just use this. In fact, no, never mind. Uh, still looking. Um, we'll just use this one here. So, copy, control V to paste. Now we can just exit out of that. So, we're just gonna make this a little bit smaller, like that. Looks good. So, it actually overlaps as you can see right here. So, we're just gonna use the eraser tool, just rubbing it away on like a soft brush and then we can leave it like that you can group them both together control G control E then press control U and bring down the saturation or you can go over to adjustments and black and white and then you can mess around with all the stuff and I prefer this personally it looks pretty cool you can just edit it a lot better so you can just keep playing around I'm just gonna keep it like that to be honest so once you've done that you guys can add some more color corrections whoops so brightness and contrast maybe bring down the brightness and bring up the contrast color curve just make a little s shape something like this you guys already know all this stuff exposure just bring up the exposure a little bit so now we've got all that going on you can group all that together and you can see the difference it does make everything pop out a lot more so once you've done that um, you don't want it to, to be able to see it, um, so you want to kind of make it like um, faded in the background. So we'll just bring down the opacity to about, let's say, 30, 25% actually. So as you can see, it's in black and white, so you want to group the two together. Control G, Control E. Um, so now you've got it like that, it looks really cool. So the next thing you want to do is add a new layer, go to white and at the top just add like a white spot something like this and then bring down the opacity and then add a new layer go to black and we're just going to make like some shadows around the outside and then bring down the opacity like so that looks pretty cool so it's looking all right so far and now guys the next thing you want to do is open a pack or open my pack um, if you guys haven't downloaded it make sure you go check it out so right here, Tempest 4K GFX pack. I know I haven't done a 5K GFX pack, but basically I've done one like like in the past three milestones. So 3K, 2K, 3K, 4K, I've done a GFX pack. I've not had time this time, so 
Yeah. So guys, the next thing you'll want to do is <clears throat> um, go to this right here. Looks pretty cool. And we're just going to add it in. Hold shift and drag it up. Change. You can even use overlay here. That looks all right. Color dodge looks good as well. I'm going to choose overlay this time. So that looks really cool. Nice. And now you can add a new layer, go to black again, and we're going to add some overlays. So we could maybe do one right here, and one down here as well. Change that to overlay, bring down the opacity a bit. It just gives it a bit of a highlight. So that's looking nice so far. The next thing, guys, you want to get a picture of yourself. Now, you don't have to do this, but I'm going to do this uh, for this video, uh, for this tutorial. So I'm just going to choose a random picture that I've got already. Hopefully I've got one. Um, in fact, I'll just use this. Right, one, one second, guys. Right, so guys, this is the picture that I'm going to be using. I just test... I, this is something that I did, like... I'm not sure when I did it, to be honest, but I was just testing out some stuff. I'm going to just use this one right here. It's not a very good picture, but yeah, this is an also another really good one that I quite like, like a FIFA 17 styled one. But yeah, so this is the picture I'm using. Uh, I just cut around a random picture of me, and then I added some effects. So I added an inner glow, a gradient overlay, and an outer glow. Uh, the gradient overlay was just on overlay, so yeah. Um, so now we can add something else, we'll add a new layer, go to white, and at the top just add a spot like this, bang. Maybe something like that, bring down the opacity. And now, oh, that picture's so bad, right? Anyway, go to color overlay, go to purple, or whatever color you're using, and then change it to overlay or something. It's totally up to you guys. So now, you've got that going on, it looks pretty cool. You can add another layer and go to purple again. And then you can do this if you want, you don't have to. But it does look pretty cool. Uh, if you do that, then go to color dodge. Bring down the opacity and it gives it another glow, as you can see. Looks pretty cool. So, now you've got all that. I like to do this. If you go to white, go to rectangle. And then just add a little bar at the bottom. It just finishes everything off. Now, it's not finished yet, but yeah, you got what I mean. It just looks pretty cool. And then just bring it down a bit more, maybe. So you've got that, and you, then you can rub away certain parts, like so. Looking good. So, now you've got all of this. You can also add different stocks in the background, like tech stocks. I'm just going to open my pack again, because I had to close it for some reason. So, yeah, you can add stocks, like tech stocks, uh, grunge, anything you guys want. So, I'm not too sure. Maybe just this. Because I just use this all the time, to be honest, it's the best, my favourite one. So if we make it a bit bigger, like so, and then change that to colour dodge, or overlay looks alright. And then if you just bring down the opacity, so that looks alright. The picture's pretty bad, to be honest, you guys can probably get a better one, or you don't have to use one at all. So, the next thing we're going to do, guys, we're not going to add any social media to this, we're just going to add the name. So, I'm just going to put Timpers. Now, the font for this is Edo SZ, or you can use the other one, which one's it called? Whoops. Um, DK Cinnabar Brush. That's good as well, but I'll just use this one. Now, the best way to do this is probably have it behind it, but make it bigger, obviously. Now you can't see it, but it's, to be honest, most YouTubers just do it to just make it look better. They don't really care about the text, but um, this is basically what it'll look like. You guys can go to Grading Overlay and maybe make a purple one, so. Or it could, you could probably do a blue one for this. Something like that. And then if you add an inner glow, change that to overlay. And also an inner shadow, change that to overlay. Maybe that's a bit too bright. I know what we can do. If you go to rasterize layer style, 
and then duplicate it and then the one on top make it white control U and then just make it white then move it up a bit and maybe a bit to the right and then you've got the purple behind it and then if you go to gradient overlay bring down the opacity of that inner glow overlay and then inner shadow overlay so that looks pretty cool to be honest you can group that together and you can change the size it's totally up to you guys now that's probably it for that there's not much else you can probably do you can also if you want you can add an overlay to it like this and then just change it to overlay that looks pretty nice as well and then obviously you can add some more color corrections to make everything just fit together nice and well now I'm sorry if this guys isn't the best I'm just showing you you guys can add do your own stuff there's lots of other things you can do but this is basically how I would make one something like this so that looks nice group it together you can see it looks much better than before um, but yeah you can also add background stocks and stuff but that's probably about it for the video guys on how to make a sick FIFA 17 style um, banner I was gonna say header but yeah if you guys did enjoy this video make sure you smash the like button comment down below what you want to see in my next video leave some suggestions guys I always read them and I also reply a lot um, and yeah we're currently I think very close to 5.3k so just keep up the six support guys let's try and get to 6k as soon as possible and yeah with that all being said i hope you guys are having a sick day today and i'll see you in the next video